All right, I think we're live. Oliver, <laughs> say what's up. Hey, Abe, everyone, we're here for the AMT uh, Daily Minute. It's Andy, Director of Marketing. I, you know, I run this program, but I got, you know, shafted. I've got the Friday at almost five o'clock slot. Um, but might be a crappy slot, but I have a lot of really great information. Um, all right, so today I'm just going to talk really briefly about brand awareness and obviously how important it is, especially right now. Um, if you've heard me talk at any of our events, you know that I'm a huge proponent of brand awareness. Um, a couple of things to remember is that brand awareness doesn't have to cost money, which is huge right now, right? There's so much you can do with so little. And it doesn't have to be difficult to do. It's all about putting your brand out there. And the best place to do that right now, we all know, is social media, right? It's a great place to start. And social media lets you grow your visibility and brand awareness without having to pay for it. But well, just checking on the puppy. <laughs> on top of that, though, there are a lot of tools out there, especially if you're a smaller organization and you might be uh, all like, ah, oh, how am I supposed to you know, do the graphic design, do the writing, put myself out there um, or put my organization out there, or my brand or my company. So there's a couple of things to remember. I mean, number one, um, again, if you ever hear me talk, I talk about the 80-20 rule for content on social. So when people hear social, they think they've got to promote themselves all the time, all day, every day on social media, but that's actually not true. You want to promote yourself, but Pure product promotion should only be 20% of your strategy. The other 80% should be promoting uh, humanistic side of your organization, um, content that you've written, content that the industry has written, because at the end of the day, um, people will start seeing you, seeing your brand, and you need to bring that value to your audience, um, even if it isn't just directly related to a product, people will start recognizing you as thought leaders within the industry and will be more likely to remember you when they're ready to purchase. So always remember to be in front of people, but in a strategic and not annoying way. And again, because we're trying to be good with our budgets and lean, uh, maybe within our organizations, there are a lot of tools that can help you with your content marketing that are affordable. And um, a lot of these tools are good for small organizations, but also larger organizations as well. Uh, if you don't have a full marketing team, or maybe you do have a full marketing team, but you're trying to automate some stuff, some of these tools will be beneficial for you. So there's an app called, called Canva. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it out there. It's great for creating graphics for digital, right? So social, but even if you wanted to create uh, digital banners or even videos, uh, you can do that there. They even do, you know, web stuff. So you can create landing pages um, and print pieces. So they've really fleshed out their product. You can do a lot with a little, and there's a lot of templates. So again, you don't have to be a creative to really utilize that tool. Um, Promo.com is a great website uh, to build videos and quick, short promo videos, hence the name. You don't have to be a videographer um, or producer straight out of Hollywood, right? But you can create videos that look like you are. So check out promo.com um, to get out some fun uh, videos on your platforms. Other products like BuzzSumo or Answer the Public um, help you discover topics to talk about. Uh, these products take keywords and give you raw search insights into other words that are relevant um, for people searching the term. So you can create content based on these. And sorry if my eyes are going all over the place. I'm trying to like look at myself, but also hit my bullet points. So if I look silly, I'm just trying to get you all the content. Um, <laughs> So anyways, then, so those are great and they're great. They're free. Well, BuzzSumo is also a, um, a social, uh, or sorry, no, that is not correct. I'm moving into what are the um, social, um, the uh, automating platforms. So you can use a Hootsuite or a Buffer, not only to do the automation of your social posting, but also to help with content curation. So you can see what your competitors are doing. Uh, you can put the, your competitors in these platforms, and then you can understand what they're creating content around and then do things that are similar. But 
Anyways, these are a couple of products that will really um, help you uh, in your marketing efforts, whether you have big budgets or small. And then one last totally random thing for today, I want to share with you a book I'm reading uh, in my leadership forum within AMT called uh, What to Ask the Person in the Mirror um, by the HBR. Uh, it's a great read if you're into growing as a leader and it really helps present critical questions uh, that will help you not only reach your potential, but also your organization's potential as well. And it's helped me a lot over the past couple of weeks. So it's a good, uh, it's a good read. Definitely look inside yourself um, and make sure that you're the best possible leader you can be. All right, that's all for now. I'm going to feed the puppy dinner and take a walk and enjoy my Friday, have some wine. But I uh, hope all of you guys do too. And I'll see you soon with more marketing tips. Bye.